the SS Schutze was a military rank within the Schutzstaffel, SS, which was the paramilitary organization in Nazi Germany. The rank of SS Schutze was the lowest enlisted rank within the SS and was equivalent to a private in other military branches. SS Schutzen were responsible for carrying out various tasks, including guard duty, basic training, and support functions. They were typically assigned to SS units and formations, serving under the command of higher ranking officers. The rank insignia of an SS Schütze consisted of a single collar patch with a silver stripe. Although the rank was considered low in the SS hierarchy, it was an important starting point for individuals aspiring to advance within the organization. The SS Oberschütze was a military rank within the Schutzstaffel, SS, the paramilitary organization in Nazi Germany. The rank of SS Oberschütze was one step above the rank of SS Schütze and was equivalent to a private first class in other military branches. SS Oberschützen held a slightly higher level of responsibility and were expected to demonstrate a greater proficiency in their duties. They were often assigned to more specialized roles within SS units and formations, such as operating advanced equipment or providing leadership within smaller units. The rank insignia of an SS Oberschütze consisted of a single collar patch with two silver stripes. While still relatively low in the SS hierarchy, the SS Oberschütze rank represented a level of experience and competence within the organization and served as a stepping stone for further advancement. The SS Sturman was a military rank within the Schutzstaffel, SS, the paramilitary organization in Nazi Germany. The rank of SS Sturman was equivalent to a lance corporal or senior private in other military branches. SS Sturmanner held a non-commissioned officer, NCO, rank and were responsible for supervising and leading small groups of soldiers within SS units and formations. They were expected to possess a higher level of training, experience, and leadership skills compared to lower-ranking enlisted personnel. SS Sturmanner often served as team leaders or squad leaders, overseeing the execution of tasks and maintaining discipline among their subordinates. The rank insignia of an SS Sturman consisted of a single collar patch with three silver stripes. While still relatively junior in the SS hierarchy, the SS Sturman rank denoted a higher level of authority and responsibility within the organization. The SS Rottenfuhrer was a military rank within the Schutzstaffel, SS, the paramilitary organization in Nazi Germany. The rank of SS Rottenfuhrer was equivalent to a corporal in other military branches. SS Rottenfuhrer held a non-commissioned officer, NCO, rank and served as team leaders or squad leaders within SS units and formations. They were responsible for directing and supervising small groups of soldiers, ensuring their training, discipline, and execution of tasks. SS Rottenfuhrer were expected to have a higher level of experience, leadership skills, and tactical knowledge compared to lower-ranking enlisted personnel. The rank insignia of an SS Rottenfuhrer consisted of a single collar patch with two silver stripes and an additional chevron or diamond-shaped patch indicating the rank. While still relatively junior in the SS hierarchy, the SS Rottenfuhrer rank represented a position of authority and responsibility within the organization, bridging the gap between lower-ranking enlisted personnel and higher-ranking NCOs. The SS Unterscharfuhrer was a rank within the Schutzstaffel SS, the paramilitary organization in Nazi Germany. It was equivalent to the rank of sergeant in other military organizations. The SS Unterscharfuhrer held a leadership role within the SS and was responsible for overseeing a small unit of SS personnel. They played a crucial role in maintaining discipline, executing orders, and training subordinates. The rank of SS Unterscharfuhrer was recognizable by the collar tabs and shoulder boards worn on the uniform, indicating their position of authority within the SS hierarchy. The SS Scharfuhrer was a rank within the Schutzstaffel SS during the Nazi era in Germany. It held the position of Staff Sergeant and was higher in rank than the SS Unterscharfuhrer. The SS Scharfuhrer played a significant role in the leadership and supervision of SS units. They were responsible for maintaining discipline, overseeing the training of subordinates, and executing orders. The rank of SS Scharfuhrer was identifiable by the collar tabs and shoulder boards worn on the uniform, distinguishing them as a non-commissioned officer within the SS hierarchy. The SS Oberscharfuhrer was a rank within the Schutzstaffel SS during the Nazi era in Germany. It held the position of senior staff sergeant and was higher in rank than the SS Scharfuhrer. The SS Oberscharfuhrer played a crucial role in leading and managing SS units. They were responsible for supervising personnel, maintaining discipline, and ensuring the execution of orders. The rank of SS Oberscharfuhrer was distinguished by the collar tabs and shoulder boards worn on the uniform, signifying their authority as a senior non-commissioned officer within the SS hierarchy. 
the SS Hauptscharführer was a rank within the Schutzstaffel SS during the Nazi era in Germany. It held the position of Master Staff Sergeant and was higher in rank than the SS Oberscharführer. The SS Hauptscharführer played a significant leadership role within the SS organization. They were responsible for overseeing and managing units, maintaining discipline, and implementing orders. The rank of SS Hauptscharführer was identifiable by the collar tabs and shoulder boards worn on the uniform, denoting their authority as a senior non-commissioned officer within the SS hierarchy. The SS Sturmscharführer was a rank within the Schutzstaffel SS during the Nazi era in Germany. It held the position of Storm Staff Sergeant and was higher in rank than the SS Hauptscharführer. The SS Sturmscharführer played a crucial leadership role within the SS organization, overseeing and managing units with a focus on operational efficiency and effectiveness. They were responsible for maintaining discipline, executing orders, and providing guidance to their subordinates. The rank of SS Sturmscharführer was distinguished by the collar tabs and shoulder boards worn on the uniform, indicating their position as a senior non-commissioned officer within the SS hierarchy.